Greetings bakers and cake enthusiasts. Welcome back to the GW Stefini channel where we turn an ordinary cake baking moment into an extraordinary moment of love. Today we're embarking on an icy journey, a frosty adventure filled with sugar, spice and everything nice. We're crafting a culinary masterpiece inspired by Disney's Frozen. It's a sprinkle of magic, a dash of laughter, and a whole lot of fun. I'm your host at GH Stephanie Chanel, your guide to today's icy adventure making a Disney Frozen themed cake. Are you ready to bake and giggle, dive in? Hold on to your tiaras, folks. We've got ingredients that are whiter than Olaf in a snowstorm, and more glittery than Elsa's singing career. We're about to embark on a frosty adventure, and I'm here to guide you through the snowy landscape of our Frozen themed cake. You'll need your basic cake ingredients of course, but let's not forget the stars of our show. Our blue and white fondant will mirror the icy elegance of Elsa's magical kingdom, while our edible glitter will bring a sparkle to rival the northern lights. Our tools are just as important as our ingredients. A rolling pin, cake tins, and a fondant smoother will be your trusty sidekicks in this culinary quest. And let's not forget our secret weapon, a sprinkle of pixie dust, also known as your creativity and love for baking. So grab your blue and white fondant, edible glitter, and let's not forget our secret ingredient, a sprinkle of pixie dust for that extra magic. Alright cake mix, do your thing, we're about to dive into the magical world of baking my friends. Picture this, we are in the kitchen of the royal castle of Arendelle, whipping up a storm. Let's get the party started with our preheated oven. You know, just like Elsa, it's got a warm heart under that cool exterior. First things first, we'll combine our dry ingredients in one bowl, just like how Elsa and Anna combined their powers to save Arendelle. We're talking flour, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. In another bowl, let's beat together butter and sugar until it's as pale and fluffy as the snow in Elsa's winter wonderland. Next, let's crack in our eggs one by one, whisking them in like Olaf whisks through the snow. Remember, it's all about the rhythm, just like Kristoff and Sven's duets. And then we're going to alternate between adding our dry ingredients and milk, stirring gently. It's a delicate balance like trying to keep Olaf from melting in summer. Once our batter is smoother than Prince Hans's charm, it's time to pour it into our prepared cake pans. We're aiming for even distribution here, just like Elsa distributing snowflakes during Let It Go. Into the oven they go for about 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. While they're baking, let's take a moment to appreciate the magic happening inside that oven. The heat is transforming our simple ingredients into something truly special, much like how Elsa's powers transformed her kingdom. The aroma wafting from the oven is as enticing as the smell of chocolate to Anna. But let's remember, patience is key. We don't want to open the oven door too soon or our cakes might fall flatter than the Duke of Weselton's dance moves. And remember, if you don't rise to the occasion, it's okay. We all have those days just like Elsa when she accidentally unleashed Eternal Winter. No pressure! Now it's time to stack those layers like a pro. Picture yourself as the architect of Arendelle, constructing a towering castle of deliciousness. Start by placing the bottom layer on your cake stand, then spread a generous amount of frosting evenly across the top. It's like laying down a fresh blanket of snow, minus the chilly fingers. Next, gently place the second layer on top of the frosting. Rinse and repeat until all your layers are stacked. Remember, if a layer breaks, no worries, that's just your cake showing its personality. A little extra frosting can work wonders. I like to think of it as a delicious glue. And what if the layers aren't perfectly aligned? Well that's just your cake taking on a creative tilt. If your cake leans a bit, call it the Leaning Tower of Elsa. It's avant-garde. We're not making a cake, we're creating a masterpiece with a side of laughter. Time for the cake to chill. Just like Olaf when he discovered the concept of summer. The crumb coat is our cake's winter coat, protecting it from the harsh weather of our fridge. It seals in the crumbs, gives us a smooth surface, and makes the next layer of frosting easier to apply. So, with a light touch and a dash of patience, let's get this crumb coat on. Then, pop it in the fridge, and let it cool off. We all need a little cooling off now and then, don't we? Fondant, my nemesis. It's like trying to control Elsa's powers. One moment it's all smooth and cooperative, the next it's sticking to your rolling pin, refusing to play nice. But don't fret, with a little patience and a dash of laughter, we can tame this sugary snowstorm. Much like Elsa, we need to let it go and embrace the imperfections. After all, no two snowflakes are alike, and neither are two fondant-covered cakes. So roll out your blue fondant, channel your inner Elsa and smooth it over your chilled cake. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. 
Remember, we're in Arendelle, where everything is whimsically imperfect. Now let's add some white fondant accents. Think of it as giving your cake a stylish winter coat. Play around with shapes and patterns, let your creativity flow like Elsa's magical powers. But fear not, we shall conquer this sugary beast and turn our cake into a fondant fantasy. Let the battle commence. Cutting out snowflakes just like Elsa but without the accidental eternal winter part. Now we're going to create a flurry of edible snowflakes. Imagine you're in the heart of Arendelle's winter, crafting these delicate shapes from your fondant. It's not so different from making paper snowflakes only this time they're sweet and delicious. Remember no two snowflakes are alike, so don't worry about making them identical. Variety adds more charm to our frozen themed cake. Once you've cut out your snowflakes it's time to place them on our cake. Be as random and spontaneous as a snowfall, let them cascade down the sides, settle on the top, even hide in the nooks and crannies. You're creating a winter wonderland in frosting and fondant, and there you have it. A cake that's a snowstorm of deliciousness and Disney magic. Scatter them around like confetti at a royal ball, a ball where everyone is invited, even snowmen. Grab your wands, I mean piping bags, and let's cast a spell of hilarious designs on our cake. Imagine you're like Elsa, but instead of ice, you're wielding a bag filled with delicious frosting. It's time to let it go and let your creativity flow. We're not just adding frosting here, we're creating a snowstorm of sweetness, a blizzard of delight. You know, piping is a bit like an impromptu snowball fight. You aim, you squeeze and whoosh, there goes a swirl of frosting. It's a dance between you and the cake, a frosty tango if you will. And remember, there's no right or wrong in this icy adventure. If a squiggle turns into a wiggle, or a dot turns into a blot, just laugh it off. After all, even Elsa didn't get her ice palace right on the first try. If it looks like abstract art, you're doing it right. Picasso would be proud. It's time to introduce the stars of our frozen show, the Cake Toppers. These are the final characters to our icy saga, the final brushstrokes to our edible masterpiece. Whether it's Elsa, Anna, or our beloved Olaf, these toppers transform a simple cake into a frozen-themed wonderland. They are the magic that brings the story to life, the grand finale of our baking journey. So place them strategically, like casting the perfect ensemble for a blockbuster film, and action. And there you have it folks, our Disney Frozen themed cake that's more enchanting than Sven in a tutu. Isn't it a sight straight out of Arendelle? We've journeyed through the icy perils of fondant, braved the blizzard of snowflake decorations, and emerged victorious on the other side. We've turned a simple baking process into a grand adventure, full of laughter and love. And the result? A cake that's not just a treat for the taste buds, but also for the eyes. If this cake doesn't make you happy I don't know what will. Thanks for joining the fun on GW Stefini channel. Remember life is better with laughter, a smile and cake. This icy journey wouldn't have been the same without you. If you've had as much fun as Olaf in summer don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more kitchen escapades and share your own frosty cake masterpieces in the comments. We're eager to see your creations. Until next time stay frosty and keep those ovens warm. Farewell my baking buddies, see you in the next video of Baking and Belly Laughs, where we turn baking into a stand-up comedy routine. We'll whip up more laughter, sprinkle in a dash of fun, and frost it all with a generous helping of love. Together we'll continue transforming ordinary baking moments into extraordinary memories. So keep those aprons ready and your spirits high as we embark on another culinary adventure. Until then remember to keep your ovens warm and your hearts warmer. Toodles.